what is our agreed like loadout? Mm. What's everyone's loadout this season? What's like the most optimal to go for? I've been testing some wacky shit yeah. in some of the games I was playing. I was like playing like I was playing like SMG or AR fist replacing my my shotgun because I don't need shotgun when I can just fist in everyone's face. <laughs> uh, Nitro dash so that I could just run into people's boxes <laughs> when I wanted to. Uh, and then double heal. I was that was my crazy loader, but I, I don't think that's the most optimal. But what's everyone be running? Gloves, four heals. That's all you need for solos. <laughs> gloves, gloves, six med kits, four floppers, and minis. That's all that, fizz. That might actually be a solo cash cut, man. <laughs> that is yeah. that's, that's like, that's the thing, you know, in this current state, like you don't even. You, there's no point in taking a shotgun, and yeah. because imagine one of the things about. The, the gloves in particular, say, just in hypothetical, they stay in their safe. Same thing with Nitro Dashes is everyone's thinking about them from an offensive perspective where you get onto someone else's wall. But what most people have forgotten is if someone gets onto your wall, you can just be so brain dead and just run at them out of yeah. your own box <laughs> and, and straight out. There's a hilarious clip I saw from one of the players from Asia where like it's two players of Nitro oh, and they're just yes. running through their own builds and hitting each other with it at the same yeah. time. So, like, if you have fists, like, you can still play defensively, too, and wait for someone to get on your wall and break through your own wall and hit them. That so. was one of my favorite ways to use Hades last season. Yeah. It's like, there'd yeah. be so many fights where <clears throat> I'm just getting absolutely shit on as standard. Mm -hmm. And then I just, like, remember when the guy's on my way, whoa, wait. I have chain of Hades. <laughs> and, <I'm> like, <laughs> and then I whip it out and I just run full pelt at him. And you can, like you said, you can do the exact same with gloves. It's so good. Mm -hmm. When Reese, when I thought you were going with the nitro dashes or nitro splash, was like when you say defense, I thought you're like you're going to turn 180 degrees and run out the box the other way. Well, that's a good point too, actually. Well, yeah, you're right. That, that is for the season because the people that did like the wing flying strat are now back in full force, and they have figured out another way to mm. infinitely fly in the sky again. So you know that'll be something oh, we'll really look forward to. Oh, uh, yeah. which is you know, gonna be my loader, you know, my first and five med kits for solo cash cups and just doing <laughs> that. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think I mean, the actual I was gonna sorry, sorry, what were we gonna say? I was gonna say no, I was just saying the, the the actual loadout that we saw from like scrims this season, I think so far, has been DMR, which is standard because everyone wants to carry DMR. Um, you could potentially pick up a burst SMG for your duo because you know, if you're below surge, you, you have the bailout items to get above surge, right? Um, and then you have Gatekeeper Shotgun seems to be meta still. I don't think many people are actively carrying combat, although combat's are I think the bad. combat's pretty good. A decent, but I think you always still prefer the, the, the Gatekeeper over it, and then obviously the pump is just sort of there, if you get like a gold one potentially. Yeah. And then you carry Fists. Um, many teams aren't actually actively carrying Nitro, um, as far as I've seen. Like, if you find it and you have an inventory slot, you're picking it up, but otherwise... Your fists are valid. They have it, the, the recharge time on them are insane. Like, you basically have infinite movement by the time you use your four charges. Your next charge is already really loaded up. And yeah. then uh, double healing, pretty much. And then mm. I thought at least the first two games of scrims went to heal off. And then everyone figured out, you know, when in doubt, fisted out. And then we just never had a heal out ever since. So, uh, mm, yeah. no heal off quiet this season anymore. Yeah, Basically I think like. Booted. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I think, like, the reason no one's using the Nitro Splashes is because why would you when you have fists? Like, mm -hmm, the Nitro yeah. Splashes, of course, you can use them to jump into people's boxes, but you can do that with fists. You can use them for rotations. It's like, they're just all-encompassing when it comes to rotations and, and aggressiveness. So, <clears throat> had they not see they just removed from them from the game, like, Nitro Splashes would be so good for rotations. Yeah. Uh, outside, I think, I think in a, in a world where our meta changes a little bit, uh, you know, assuming things get patched, if there's like a bit smarter rotations, like flow brief is rotates are so scuffed. Same with <laughs> even the nitro splash sprinting rotates, because if people do end up running combat shotguns, like Ooh. you are just getting tagged every single time you want to try and do one of those. So I think right now, sure, people are running gatekeepers, but I think when it comes to more, if you're like an FCS grand finals, more in set lobbies and things like that, I think we're going to see more people use combat just to just grief people on rotate. Yeah, I also think the Enforcer is in a really nice spot in the moment, where I think for opens, that is going to be like the perfect middle ground between having no surge weapon and having to carry a DMR, which is useless in box. I feel like it is kind of fit perfectly the niche it wants to meet, which is, yeah, like a good medium range weapon, which doesn't really struggle. Even like, say, for example, you're in a set lobby and you don't get a DMR, you get Enforcer. It sucks, but it's not like the end of the world in comparison to last season, right? If, we, if you didn't get a DMR last season, is a bit of a, it was a huge, huge, huge struggle. But one other thing, the hand cannon is actually in quite a nice spot at the moment, as in 
in the bullet drop off, like the trajectory, uh, what's it, projectile speed and mm -hmm. the bullet drop off, it's really, really good now. It feels quite viable to use. And there will be some people, obviously, because now on the Loot Island, you can get the uh, Mythic one, which has 185 damage to the head, but with the extra damage, 197 to the head as well. So with the Nitrodome um, medallion as well. So I wouldn't be surprised to see some teams and players who are really good with the Deagle still carrying it, especially in opens, because the Sapphire off with 150, 160 damage is going to be nice. It feels more viable than with box fighting too. Yeah. Cause like, what do, what do you even do when two guys fist into your box? You know, mm -hmm. I've seen people say, okay, let me try shooting back. And that doesn't really work. Uh, going up a layer sometimes works. Levin, you know, uh, you can tell me about your experiences afterwards with, with that potentially. No um, experience with me. No, no, no none, none at all. Okay. No, I don't, don't get fisted. Uh, me. Uh, uh, Never. No, you, no, 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 it's, it's, it's something that, you know, yeah, hey, sorry. Let's move on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, like, you know, like the the Digo might be some sort of valid way to to like double pump. I guess you like you attack a guy in the face and you Digo them, and then you hopefully kill them before they punch you. Um, but yeah, that's an interesting point. All I know is like the first day of the season, I, I went up to the island to get the Digo and got full clip by Taste, and that was my first game. <laughs> on. Really? And, yeah. yeah. Literally, he was even streaming, which never happens, right? And full fucking Taste just comes in, Mongo classes me, and just kills me in the first game. So, nice. see, I, from that point, I knew the season was cooked already. So. <laughs> hey, if you enjoyed that video, you can watch the full podcast right here. Just click on it, watch the full episode. You, you've already watched this video. You might as well watch the full podcast right here. Go on, click it.